200 dragons. I am by. Aya sent me to speak to Apollodorus. I'm sure you can appreciate that my master takes precautions concerning those he meets. I have a question only he can answer. I will tell him you seek his counsel, and that Aya recommends you. Wait for tonight. If he sees fit to meet you, you'll be found near the lighthouse then. Until then, the Hippodrones commemorating one of its greatest racers. Plenty of drinking and festivities, along with the races themselves, of course, if that appeals. Polodoros. You there? Are you here to kill me or to be my friend? Friend. Bike of Siwa. Ah, then your help, please. You are I as Magi, huh? Any other survivors? Only Damastis. They took him prisoner. And the scroll, what of the scroll? Damastis had it. That ass Damastis should have destroyed it. Cleopatra owes you much. Can you get to a healer by yourself? <coughs> I've killed Eudorus. Huh? Well done. He was the snake, yes? Man to man, Bayek, there is much you have yet to understand. Man to man, I need an answer. I must take the measure of you first. Rescue the masters and recover the scroll. And then I will know if you're the man that Aya claims you to be. Where is this Damastis? He should be on the docks in Carnopos Harbor. I can't risk that someone reads the scroll he carries. in my own filth in here. Thank you. It was very unpleasant in there. You have killed them all. Bastards, they deserve to die. Get me to a safe. What's wrong with you? Uh. I was going to kill all of them. That damn cage was too hard to get out of his own. Apollodorus sent me to help you. Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. Where is the ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship. That 
precious scroll. Neck. Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. The scroll was meant for the Roman general Pompey in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. He will be grateful to you for keeping the communication safe. <coughs> She's at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philaketai of Alexandria, Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Felakis are a tightly bound group. And murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, is too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy, responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills. Here we are. The villa is up ahead. You will learn more at the villa. The queen enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek, before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the Queen, bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly. In measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. <laughs> Catch me! Catch me! Come here, both of you! Yes. She caught me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Not all the way. She doesn't <laughs> hold the crowd. Be. Where is my opium pipe? <clears throat> I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xanthivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto Ek Nebsheve. My queen, this is, uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I've already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! <laughs> you were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudorus. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why <coughs> should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. <coughs> Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. <clears throat> we 
We have informants in each region. But they have been unable to touch the Order. Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta. The endless sands swallow up whole villages. Yet, a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the yeah. sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our sun shed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. <clears throat> so it shall be. Tonight, we drink. Celebrate. Make love. Tomorrow. Welcome to Marad's Wares, traveler. Well, what do you think? Junk. Be off then. Ah, uh, I haven't finished. Are you blind? I've nothing left to show you. But you've much to tell me about the hyena. Ah, funny. As it turns out, that happens to be the most expensive thing I'm offering. <laughs> Funny indeed. Delivery upon payment. Do you have enough to barter with me? Yeah. You have sad fee. Now what can you tell me? The hyena is not her real name. <laughs> Easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name is Khalised. A favor. Some customers of mine took my horse after a dispute. Their camp lies in a quarry just south of here. Take my man, retrieve my horse, and I'll give you what you came for. Ah, uh, how you find yourself in the Polidarus company escapes me. Get it for me. If Apollodorus wants my continued service. You are friends with Mered? Ah, barely. He's a necessary ally. 
Meret rarely keeps protectors as allies. This must be Meret's horse. He neglected to tell me his customers were bandits. it was in the possession of bandits. It slipped my mind. Hmm. Good. Stronger than mine. I thought you said it was yours. <laughs> yes, yes, of course it is. You've done good by me, my friend. Then you'll deliver as promised. My word is my word. But I have one more thing to ask of you. Ah, done with your games. All right. The hyena lives in a cavern. Just over those hills. Day and night she roams the desert collecting silica. Precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. <clears throat> if I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Don't die out there! <laughs> One of her loyal beasts be caged. Kufu's tomb. She has detailed every crevice. <clears throat> ah, she has not finished. That is where I will find her. I will head to the pyramids. if you must, Hyena. But this tomb will not protect you. I demand that you stop here. Turn back now and I will excuse this intrusion. Siwa was an intrusion. <clears throat> Foolish man, I am Iset, possessor of magic. The gods live here, not you. What sort of mischief is she entertaining?
Be gone! Osiris cannot be disturbed! This trap door... What is it protecting? Heathen! The wakeful one is asleep! Go no further, or I will drench these arid plains with your blood! What is this place? A tomb beneath a tomb. Is this where you hide, hyena? What gruesome madness happened here? A dark place with a window to the gods. What kind of ritual is she performing? This sarcophagus is decorated with goddesses of the <coughs> moon. Strange symbols are marked <coughs> over it. Offerings to Osiris, protector of the dead. Alisa drew these symbols here. Was she trying to figure out their meaning? Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. I think I know what Dark Deeds Haliset was after here. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used the knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. Once she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? to the order. Ravage this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. Transmission, segment three, acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 95 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. You must be wondering why I have reached out to you. It was written, you see, that you would come to this particular chamber at this very moment in time. The walls told us of your coming when we once were. Look at them. Are they not fascinating? These walls tell of a tragic story. A story we transcribed on our structures, on our artifacts. A story we cannot alter. A mystery defying us in plain sight. Come and meet me, coward! We tried. Our scholars and scientists, poets and physicists, bright minds, rebellious hearts. They all tried so hard to bring about change. They, we all failed. None could change what we discovered, the stories written into the walls of these rooms. By whom, we never knew. We know they tell of the future that is, the future that was, and the future that is yet to come. The Zeros? 
We failed at modifying the line. We failed at adding a single dot. It was clear. We were to be messengers at best. But messengers to whom? To you. We removed our ability to read those stories from your original template. A doorway that is also a puzzle. We must find the solution. Those were Brutus's words when he visited the vault under the Colosseum more than 2,000 years ago. He drew the vault, sketched it to the best of his abilities, but he could not see. Just as you are blind, you may read your watch, you may read hourglasses and calendars, but you cannot grasp beyond that simplistic surface. For now, the true reading of time still escapes you. And so today, the curtains pulled and the Eros is shown, tragic and complete. Those walls you might never read. Events yet unfold as written. But something, anything must change. You do not understand what is at stake. The reader has no power. He is but an observer. But the author? The author invents the future. The author owns the future. A future where zeros are avoided. A future where a loved one can be revived by the drafting of a new chapter. A future where humankind is more than it is today. A future where, just perhaps, we can all still exist together. show you what happens to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. In pursuit of the impossible, Hali said. No measure of magic can bring our children back. Must keep my bearings. Fucking annoying. 
Do I walk among the dead now? A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? These symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion. She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the Duat forever? <coughs> I just want my daughter back! I seek the Master Brewer, Akuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the Scarab, the shadow that darkens size. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. <clears throat> Apollodorus knows the people are suffering. In my position, many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof overhead. Master Tahaku's wife is so kind. I cannot let her go there. There are many terrible stories about this scandal. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation, disappearances. Folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate, trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun, waiting for the final release into the Duat. <coughs> but these are only stories. There are real villains in size, but the scarab. If he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. The investigations of Haku's agents. Concerns of the people. Ah, Saiz is no different than Siwa. The man who asked questions about the scarab was near beaten to death, with his tongue cut out. <clears throat> who was he? Old Gupa, father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Awab, is his grandson. Hey, you tired of winning? I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No. He left on the road to Camp Piros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. Hold on. Hey! Got you. Uh. 
Okay, cool. Lighting the... I will get you out. Grandfather! Are you all right? Is he hurt? Banged up, bruised, and thirsty. The soldiers did not take kindly to him, but he will be all right. Where is your father, Kawa? We must speak of this. Father is away, on his great work. Mother! Grandfather is hurt! Soldiers mistook him for a beggar again! Father! What have you done this time? He was searching for this scarab. I hope he can help me. And in return, I can protect your family. The scarab is nonsense. Everyone knows this. He wants you to read them. It looks like this scarab is summoning warriors to the city of Letopolis. By the gods! That is where my husband is. Or oh, the city swallowed by the desert. It is father's destiny to rebuild it. We're going to join him soon. Right, mother? Yes. My husband Tahaka has been slaving there for months. I'm sure he can help you. He knows everyone there. If you go, tell him I can't wait to see him. <laughs> yeah, of course I will, Kawa. Master Tahaka, my name is Bai from Siwa. I am indeed Tahaka, Grand Planner of Sites and Steward of Metropolis. I met your family. Your wife sent me here. She said you might know about the one called the Scarab. This is not the place to speak, for who knows who may overhear our words. Come inside and I will answer. Son is very proud of your work. He misses you. <coughs> You'll be here soon. I dream of my son and his sons following in my steps. <coughs> the world is made by great men dreaming big. What do you dream of, Bai? I do not have the luxury of dreams. Just finding the scarab. <coughs> so I pray <coughs> on the weak. There's no threat to me. <clears throat> Are you not afraid of the scout attack? Seems, Seems after what he did to your father-in-law. Father what, what happens to Ogupa tears me. Tears me. Whatever, Whatever my life's work, work, whatsoever, whatsoever, I, did whatsoever, 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 whatsoever I did to bring that down upon him, I beg the gods for me. Master Tahaka! They're attacking the ruins again! Bayek, come fight with me! Wind is picking up. That killing is the voice of the reset you. The desert dogs use the storm as a rallying cry. These reavers use the sandstorm to mask their raids. 
Stay close to me! Do not let this curse surround you! I will not let him destroy my great work! Over here! Grab of naked the attack back! They pour out of the storm! These three must fly on the way to the storm! I can hit the dragon! the greatest of Egypt! Come, Metai! Fight with me! I understand your thirst for blood, Tahaka. But these bandits are not my concern. Tell me about this scarab before you ride. Is that not the badge of a Metai that you wear? These rivers are a threat to the good and innocent people of Latopolis. Come with me, Pai. And once we have returned these curse to the desert they so love, then I will tell you the story you want to hear. All right. I will join your course for today. Come by it. Take off your iron and join us. Brave, loyal servants of the Topolis. We will root these rivers out of their holes and spill their blood on the sand. This task you have put yourself to, it seems impossible. <laughs> Only the gods can know that for sure, Pai. Yeah. And if I do not reach for the stars, how will I know how close I can get? Metopolis was a wonder once, before the desert overtook it. I mean to show the world, to show the gods, that men can conquer anything if they put their minds to it. Perhaps you have been sent by the gods to help me realize my vision. A strong arm, a keen eye. We could restore this land to glory. I have my own great work ahead of me. <laughs> we shall see if I cannot convince you. Matter with 
Who have these cultists caged? Who have these cultists caged? Please, Nev, if you have any decency in your heart, free me. Stay here. Wait. Sounds like a few bandits are roosting up top. Thanks to you, Baik. Before you arrived, I thought my dream was doomed to die. You gave me the strength to hunt down these Reavers. Who are they? Blood-fevered followers of Sekhmet, the Lady of Slaughter. They wish nothing more than chaos and ruin. Are they connected to this Garam? <laughs> no. They think themselves lions, but they are no more than carrion eaters. And now they will feed the scavengers. I will bring this priest back to the city. Meet me at my house. We will dine, and I will tell you what you need to know. May Ta bless you and the protector saving me, Master Tahaka. How did you end up here? I was kidnapped by these blood-crazed raiders. I thought they brought from Memphis to the Tobias of 